the United Dairy Industry of Michigan, we work on behalf of Michigan's nearly 1,200 dairy farm families who work to care for their animals and land every single day and bring you nutritious and delicious dairy foods. If you want to learn more about dairy farming, find recipes, and learn how dairy plays a really important part in our diet, visit our website, www.milkmeansmore.org. We hope you enjoyed the tour. Milk leaves a cow at 101 degrees, which is her body temperature. On this tour, we will learn where milk goes after it is collected from the cows, how it is cooled and stored for the milkman to pick up. We will also meet a milk hauler who is a very important member of the farm team. We will start in the milk house with dairy farmer Aubrey of Walnut Dale Dairy in Western Michigan. Okay, so as we head into our milk house, we're gonna talk about what we do with the milk. Once it comes in from our parlor, through this pipe that we see coming in here. It goes into these filters and that makes sure that the milk is clean. So the filters that we use look like this and it catches any fine particles, sand, or other things that our towels do not get off the cow's udder. We wanna make sure that the milk is clean once it leaves those filters, it goes into this pipe and into our clay cooler, which is tucked behind here. And that takes the heat out of the milk and exchanges it with water. And as you can see, now it comes down this pipe. Um, there's condensation on that pipe because at this point now, the milk was 101 um, when it comes out of the cow. And at this point now, the milk is 32 degrees. It continues to run down this pipe and then over into this big tank that we call our bulk tank. This can hold 80,000 pounds of milk. And so it sits in there and then we pump it from that tank out to the trucks um, that come to haul the milk. Um, and we just do that with this pump and these um, tubes that lay on the floor here. Dairy farmers are focused on taking care of the land, the air and the water around their farms. There are many practices on dairy farms that are sustainable, from recycling water to planting cover crops that provide nutrients to the soil over the winter months. Aubrey mentioned a plate cooler that helps lower the temperature of the milk. This is another way that dairy farmers are sustainable. Let's listen as dairy farmer Brad of Ritter Farms in Central Michigan explains how the plate cooler works. The milk will go through this, uh, we call it a plate cooler. And Every, one, every other plate of, of this is milk, and, every, and the other plates are cold well water. The milk will come in one side, it'll come out the other side, and we use cold well water to pre-cool the milk, which is very energy efficient because uh, we just take 50 degree well water, it's like, it acts like a radiator, and we, uh, we will cool that milk, so we take 100 degree milk, with 50 degree well water and we end up with 75 degree milk going into the tank, which allows us to use less energy to cool our milk. And then the outgoing water is at 75 degrees and that gets pumped out and the cows drink it. So it's a very efficient use of energy to cool our milk. After the milk is collected from the, from the cows, it is cooled down. Um, it comes out of the cows at 101 degrees and we need to cool it down to under 40 degrees in order for the milk truck driver to come and pick it up. And that person is another important member of our farm team. My name is Wayne Patterson. Um, I am a milk hauler, bulk milk hauler. Um, we haul milk from the dairy farms to the processing plant, and where it's processed and bottled and, and used as uh, you know, in stores or whatever. I got to be a milk hauler by my father-in-law. My father-in-law hauled milk for 50 years, and cans and, and such and I was fortunate enough to, to come along and, and marry his daughter and um, he's just I just like doing it I like the farms and, and the farmers and just the peacefulness of it and just um, you know being able to to do something that that is a product that is, is, is very very cleanly very sanitary um, to the utmost that's one of our biggest things is keeping the milk you know keeping clean we never touch the milk um, at any time that goes into our tank. 
most of the farms tested for antibiotics, and and then when we get to the processing plant, it's always tested before it's uh, it's pumped off the truck. This trailer was built by Birch Tank in Mount Pleasant. It's a locally built tank. Um, they do a, a, an amazing job, and this trailer holds. It's a 13,000 gallon trailer. It'll hold. You know, they build them a little bigger, a little smaller. Uh, It'll hold 114,000 pounds of milk. When this truck's loaded, it's going to weigh in excess of 164,000 pounds. And the biggest reason for us buying a trailer like this is because to make less trips, less miles, less wear and tear on your truck. There's, there's such a need for, for drivers out there, and not only in, in hauling milk, but hauling everything. It's not a job where you need to go out and get an education. Um, need your high school education, GED per se, um, but uh, there's a need for truck drivers. There's a huge need for truck drivers, for good truck drivers. They have schools uh, that you can go to school for, actually it's only like a month to, to six weeks, and they'll train you every day. You're going to be there, and they'll train you, get your CDL. You know, it's just um, it's something that you've got to want to do. It's, like, it's a lifestyle. It's not really a job. And I just want to do something different. When I've got my license, I love it. So I, I enjoy it. The milk truck driver is another important member of, of our farm team. Um, I just want to hit on a couple of things that, that he mentioned um, to reiterate those. Milk never touches human hands. Um, as Ethan showed us, when it uh, we collect it from the cows, it goes through a series of hoses and stainless steel pipes. Um, the milkman is collecting it again through a series of hoses as well. So a fun trivia fact for you is milk never touches human hands. As Wayne talked about, there are many steps to ensure that milk is safe to drink. Sometimes cows do get sick and we need to work with our veterinarian to give them antibiotics to help them get healthy again. If a cow is given antibiotics, her milk does not leave the farm. It is discarded. The milkman takes a sample of the milk he collects at the farm and the processing plant takes a sample of milk before it's unloaded from the milk truck to ensure that it's safe. Let's hear from Dr. Colleen Potter about this important topic. So sometimes, just like humans, our cows can get sick. And the humane thing for us to do is to treat them. And sometimes it requires that we give them antibiotics. So what we'll do is look at the cow, kind of decide what's going on with her and decide if antibiotics are what she needs. Um, and so if she is treated with antibiotics, we have many different protocols and steps in place that prevent those antibiotics biotics from getting into the milk that you are going to buy at the grocery store. So one of the first steps we'll do, if a cow is treated with antibiotics, she'll get this little band placed on her. As you can see, this mama has a band on her leg. And so that is a sign for the milkers in the milking parlor to say, don't put this milk in the tank. She needs to be milked separately and her milk will be thrown out. Another important step is that every single cow that gets antibiotics will get written down. We'll write down exactly Exactly who she is, what she got, and that way we know that her milk is going to get thrown away for a certain amount of days. Um, and all of those steps are in place to keep your food healthy or safe and healthy for you. No matter what the label at the store says, all milk is antibiotic free. If you have questions about dairy farming that we didn't answer today in this video, we have more farm tours and a frequently asked questions document on our website. Thank you for joining us for the tour.